I'm not going to sit here and say they don't give us reasons to want to leave their ass or, you know, not hear whatever the hell they got to say. But it ain't all them, and it ain't all us. But we, but when it comes to that destruction piece, I think we probably, we probably, we got, we got to eat that probably more so than they do. But that leaving piece, they got to eat that more than we do. I got a question. I, I just can't help it. Uh, you mentioned cheating as a part of the destruction. Mm -hmm. Explain to me why would a man cheating lead to destruction in a relationship? Okay. <laughs>I want to get through um, we, we still have a few more questions and I'm trying to trying to uh, get it before before time's up because I, I, I want to address uh, a comment that was left on one of the YouTube videos on hypergamy so I want to I want to get through a few of these questions I may have to cut a couple of them out uh, in the interest of time um, the f first this question why do black men blame everyone but themselves for the destruction of the black family when y'all, y'all, y'all on the panel, y'all are the ones that leave? Um, um, Ray, I'm going to start with you. Okay. The last thing that I heard you say was y'all are the ones that leave. Yeah. Is that the last Big thing, town, Ray. You just said that. That's <laughs> the how they feel because that's not the actual fact. They're the ones that leave. If you look at the numbers on it, women leave the men. Yeah, they're the ones that destroy the family. They they leave the family. See, before before just recently, the last few years, they were able to just spur spur out anything that they wanted to say, and nobody would challenge them. But now men are starting to say, no, that's actually not the truth. Women leave men. When it comes to divorce, women leave men at a plus 80% rate. They just leave. They divorce us before we divorce them. Why? Because they have an incentive to leave. So that, that was already just made up. Now let's talk about the other stuff that was made up. What, what was the rest of it? <laughs> well, well, it, it, it says, why do y'all black men on the panel blame everybody but yourselves for the destruction of the black family when y'all are the ones that leave. Okay, so women divorce men at a way higher rate because they get paid to do so. Mm -hmm. That's most of the that's most of the destruction. You left us for this. Women yeah. do cheat just as much as men cheat, if not more. They have a number that says that women cheat as much as men, but I argue that they cheat more because no women really admits to guilt like that. So if they're saying that they cheat this much, they cheat, cheat way more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, yeah. a lot of say that it's not true. Anytime you bring a woman into a room and ask her how many sex parties she had, they always gonna say some low stupid number like three or four. <laughs> you forty five years, years old. You had three or four months, and you talking about yeah. you had three or four. So I argue that point that maybe that statistic is a lot too. So listen, let's, let's talk about facts. Let's not talk about what you feel, because mm. if we talk about what with, with facts, women are the ones that leave men because they have an incentive to our money. To take our child several, and children. Several incentives. Sweet, sweet Jones. What what about that? I mean, um, I mean, is Ray right? I mean, do women have an incentive to pack up and, and leave, or is uh, is the sister who wrote this question correct in saying that you know it's your fault? Y'all the one that, that's packing up and leaving your family. Your responsible. Like I feel like it's a two-part question. The way, and, and I kind of agree. I, I'm more along the lines of what Ray is saying. Like, mm -hmm. they leave us. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're, they're let's just be serious now. It is definitely incentive, a paid incentive, incentive for them to leave us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just put that out there on Front Street once again. But on the front half of that question, the destruction part. Mm. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I, I think we 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 be out here fucking shit up, man. And and I know they say, I know I know Ray just mentioned the number saying women cheat more than us or whatever. 
women say they cheat better than men cheat. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. But let's 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 look at that, man. Cheating plays a part, and if I'm just looking at people I know and not dealing with numbers and all that kind of shit, but just people that I can just honestly honestly look at or whatever, more times than not, it's us. That's cheating or getting caught cheating. Mm-hmm. You know, you got me and I here be whooping up on these women. That's part of the destruction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and to a and to a, a left a lesser degree or whatever, kind of back to that leadership question, man. Like, hell, if, if, if we ain't if we ain't setting the tone in our house, you know what I'm saying? Or with our family, with our women, if we ain't taking care of them, you know what I'm saying? If we not fostering a, 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 a an environment where they'll take care of us and return that to us, you gotta eat some of that too. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all us. I'm not gonna sit here and say they don't give us reasons to want to leave their ass or you know not hear whatever the hell they got to say. But it ain't all them, and it ain't all us. But we but when it comes to that destruction piece, I think we probably we probably we got we got to eat that probably more so than they do. But that leave in peace, they got to eat that more than we hey, do. I got a question. I, I just can't help it. Uh, you mentioned cheating as a part of the destruction. Mm-hmm. Explain to me why would a man cheating lead to destruction in a relationship? Okay. So, you do you, are we talking? Okay. So, if you're talking a relationship where there's a woman and let's just say children, right? Mm-hmm. Let's add let's add children to this. All right. Said man cheats, said woman don't stand for it, said woman walks, right? We know what's gonna happen if they walk. We know they're gonna likely get the house. We know they're gonna get paid. You know what I'm saying? So that right they're gonna take our money down, right? That's gonna take our our humble abode away. And then if you don't have your kids around you on a pretty regular basis. Now your kids, you know what I'm saying, don't really have you to guide them the way that they need to be guided. And that too can have a that too is an adverse effect of our initial action of, you know, doing whatever it was that made that lady want to leave us. But why but why but but this is my question. Why would that be reason enough? For a woman to decide to leave, because hey, leave, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The leaving part is the part that ultimately destroys the home. But tell me a reason why a man cheating and coming back home to his wife, still taking care of his responsibilities, is a good enough reason for a woman to decide to leave him. Why would that be logical? The answer to that is, bro. If we could all have our cake and eat it too, well, we'll be full. But yeah. but sometimes, man, sometimes, hey, just like you might not go for it, she might not go for it either. It's just that, it, it, and every woman ain't gonna leave. Every woman ain't gonna leave. So I'm gonna stay and work it out and try to, you know what I'm saying, make things right. You know, you you might can she might want to have this discussion about why you cheat and then try to well, what you need me to do, what can I do better? Da 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 da, whatever that is. But some just ain't gonna be with it. That's it, it just what it is. Yeah. Is it reasonable enough to say? Is it is is that a reasonable statement to suggest that a man should only have one woman for the rest of his life? That's that another a, subject. That's another subject. That's another yeah. conversation, right? It, 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 it is another conversation. Let me, let me bring um let me bring Sly in here and then um and then go with it to Rico because we're gonna we're gonna um after this we're gonna do one more question and then we we're, we're going to analyze um a comment that was left. And then we'll um, we'll give our closing remarks and then and then uh, uh, close the show. So, um, Sly, what, what were your what, what were your thoughts? Um, hey, uh, well, hold on. So, so uh, our sister Q said, "I see this." Um, hold on, let me pull up. Let me read it because it's it says, "I see this as this erroneous focus on an incentive to leave." but no loyal or loving woman uproots her family for alimony and child support. What say you, Sly? What? Well, okay. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
don't know. Okay, okay now that no, one. could be true okay. in what she's saying. What? Uh, well, okay. okay. Abe, Abe, what, what was the first question to Abe? I, I'm, I'm she a, said no loving or no loving woman. Yeah, so, so, so the, <laughs> the, um, the original question was, why do black men like you, Sly, uh, blame everyone uh, but yourself for the destruction of the black family when when you're you're the one that leaves? Okay, so to answer both of those questions, okay, like like Ray say every every week, there's always an exception to the rule, right? I have a black family and I ain't went nowhere, you know. So that statement just ain't true. It's not true. I most of the guys that I know have families and they're still at home with their biological kids. So it's just not true. Uh, you know, what happened, you know, past, you know, that was a lot of uh, sabotage going on, right? Mm -hmm. Plus we were kidnapped, right? So then too, so for what she's saying, there is a lot of women that uproot their family for money. I mean, I don't like, I, I talked to Ray and, and AK not too long ago. And, you know, bringing in celebrities, but we bring in celebrities because that's who people can relate to or they see their stories. So when you bring up something like that, who is Black China? You know what I mean? She did that. She did that exactly to get the money. I mean, you know, who are these people? These are women. And Rob Kardashian was really into her. He would have gave her everything. But she didn't want him because he was weak. So she got with him. She got pregnant. She got his money and bounced. So, I mean, nah, that that's true. I mean, and look, you just can't. She's black. Uh, well, he's Armenian, I think. Yeah, he's Armenian. But it, it, it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing. So it's like, you know, I mean, some, some women are just like men. Some women <laughs> act like men. Some men act like women. You know what I mean? So... There's some women that, that want to be by themselves. They just want to date different men, and they want to be by themselves. There's some men that want to date different women, and they just want to be by themselves. They don't want nobody coming in messing up their day-to-day. -day. They just want to, hey, come over. We cool. Go home. There's a lot of relationships when, when people get older. When people get older, like let's say 50s and 60s, because a lot of times you'll have a widow or something like that, and they have their own house. They'd be like, we could be together. We can even be married. But I'm going to stay here, and you stay at your house. That way, we'll be cool. So when you get mad at me, you go home, I go home. Mm -hmm. And then we're good. Next day, we talk it out, we good. You know what I'm saying? So that's my take on it. Okay. Um, Rico, I want you to, because um, it, it, it looked like you had something to say about this comment. You know, I, and I'll read it again from our sister Q. Um, I see this erroneous focus on an incentive to leave, but no loyal and loving woman uproots her family. For alimony and child support. Well, that depends on what the woman is loyal to and what she's loving. <laughs> she loyal and, she's loyal to the money and loving the money. Then she gonna she gonna leave. And okay, what she said is she still like okay. Let's just say uh, she's correct. If I wanted to say that she's correct. Yes, maybe she's correct about a loyal and loving woman, but let's not act like women, this loyal and loving women just falling out of trees out here because it's not a whole lot of loyal and loving women out here. For they not loving us right now. I'm not saying they're not justified in not loving us. I'm just saying it's not a lot of evidence of, of them. Uh, it's a lot of evidence of them not loving us. Uh, and then let me back up to that uh, to the question before mm -hmm. where they said what was that question before oh man uh, about, about, you, about uh, you not taking responsibility and uh, you're the one that's breaking up the uh, the black family man you know? no 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 what when they asked uh, how would uh, men doing what's in the best interest of men Oh, uh, how it would be, how it, how it would, how would benefit. It benefit the family. Well, right. for centuries, men did what was best for men, and it benefited the family. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we didn't, 
we didn't do what was best for us and then leave our women and children high and dry. But right now, in this day and time, women are doing what they claim to be is in the best interest of women, and they're breaking up the families, and these kids are running them up, and nothing is working. So when we men start doing what's in the best interest of men, we're going to be better men for the women. Mm. We do it all for the women. Mm. 